what are the common big mistakes that you used to make and that some, the, and current salespeople that aren't good at it, what are, what are their mistakes? Where are they messing up? The biggest one I was screwing up, uh, two of them, was again, because I came from an engineering background. Uh, first was I was constantly educating and informing. And that's what I would want. And we tend to sell the way we want to buy. And so I would want the information, but we, we come to learn educating a prospect does nothing for them, right? Figuring out what they want is absolutely crucial. Educating a prospect does nothing really to benefit them. So the first thing I was doing wrong was I was constantly educating because when you're educating, you're doing a majority of the talking. So it seems like educating would be great, but if you're doing majority of the talking, you're not helping the prospect, right? So that was the first thing. Second thing was I was allowing them to think about it. And that sounds crazy. You know, it sounds like it's high pressure sales, but the reality is if you hear someone tell you, I need to think about it, it's a subtle way, a subconscious way of saying, I'm not sold. You didn't do enough to earn my business. And so now I hear, when I hear I need to think about it, I just know that they're not sold, which is fine. It just means that either I did something wrong as far as understanding their needs or uh, the diagnosis, or I'm just not a good fit. But now when I hear I need to think about it, I know how to handle that uh, because of the, the training we had versus before, again, coming from the engineering background, I need to think about it. Is it is something I would say because I truly would want to think about it. So I was really overly accepting of that objection when really that was not the real objection. Um, and then just as a step back explaining that, you know, people buy emotionally, they justify intellectually. I don't care how smart you are. We all buy emotionally, right? Either it makes us feel good about ourselves, makes us feel more secure, makes us look better to our friends, uh, convenience, whatever. But we all buy for emotional reason, then we justify it logically. So when someone says, I need to think about it, they're just telling you, that they were not able to justify it because emotionally they're not sold. That makes perfect sense. So.